Lesson 1-1, a plan for problem solving. The main idea of this lesson is to be able to solve problems using the four-step plan. By the end of this lesson, you're going to know the four problem solving steps. You're going to be able to solve problems using the, the problem solving steps. And you're going to know what each problem solving step entails. There are a lot of different problem solving steps. But the ones that we're going to use throughout the rest of these lessons is called the RISE method. R, I, S, and E. And in the R step, the first step, you're going to restate the question. And basically what you're looking for is you're trying to figure out what is the problem and what is the question that you're trying to solve. In the I step, you're going to look for the important information. You're going to find out what information the problem gives you, and you're going to need to keep in mind that not all of the information that's in the problem is important. And sometimes, some piece of information might not be given to you, so you're going to have to figure out where you're going to get that important piece of information. So far, I want you to keep in mind out of these two steps, we're halfway through solving a, a word problem. We actually haven't done any math yet at all. The third step, the S step, is solve. This is where we're actually going to do the math. We're going to figure out how we're going to solve the question from the first step. We're going to take the important information that we have. And we're actually going to solve the problem. And we're going to remember that we're going to show our work. And we're going to try to do that as neatly and as clearly as we can. The last step, it's two E's. We're going to examine and we're going to explain. In the examine part, we're going to go back and make sure that our, pro that our answer makes sense, that we answered the right problem, that we ha and that we have a label. And the, in the explain part, we're actually going to explain in words. We're going to write out how we solve the problem and why those steps were the right steps. That final E, the explain part, is going to take us some getting used to. and It's going to take a while for us to get good at that explain part. Most likely you're not going to like it at first, but over time you're going to get better at it. So this is the method that we're going to use. Rise, restate, important information, solve, and examine and explain. When we're solving word problems, there's a whole bunch of different strategies for solving word problems. There's the guess and check, looking for a pattern, making an organized list, drawing a diagram, acting it out, solve a simpler problem, use a graph, work backwards, eliminate possibilities, estimate reasonable answers, use logical reasoning, and make models. That's not a complete list of all of the strategies, but that's a pretty decent list of all of the different ways that we can solve problems. And throughout these lessons, we're going to touch upon each one of these different strategies. Here's our first problem that we're going to solve today. It's about televisions. It says, there were about 268 million TVs in the U.S. in 2007. This amount increases by 4 million each year after 2007. In what year will there be at least 30 million televisions? So let's start out. We're going to first start with the R. And that means we're going to restate the problem. We're going to figure out what is the problem? What is the thing we need to figure out? A good hint is it's usually the part that has the question mark on it. It's usually towards the end of the problem, which is exactly where it is in this problem. It says, in what year will there be at least 300 million televisions? So that means we can say, um, we could say when will there be 300 million TVs. That's the problem that we need to figure out. Now we're going to do the I step, the important information. What important things does this word problem tell us? Well, it tells us right here that there were about 268 million TVs in the United States in 2007. So we could write down that 2007, there's 268 million 
TVs. And it also tells us that this amount increases by 4 million each year. So that means every single year there's an additional 4 million televisions added. So we could write down that there's 4 million more each year. That's the I step. So now we're going to do the S. How are we going to go about solving this problem? Well, one way we could do it is we can make some sort of organized chart. So up here, I could write the year. And down here, I could write the number of TVs. And I'm going to write that number in millions. That way it saves me from having to write the word million over and over and over again. So I'm going to make a little organized table that looks like this. So let's see. The first year they give us is 2007. So I'm going to write that down. 2007 and there were 268 million televisions. And I know that for each year, right, each year, there's going to be 4 million more. More, that word means plus. So that means every single year that we add, I'm going to add 4 million televisions. So if I go up one year, that'd be 2008, I'm going to add 4 million more. That means I'm going to add. So 268 plus 4 is 272 million. And I'm going to keep doing this until I get to what number? All right, the question is we need to figure out in what year there's 300 million. So that means I need to keep doing this until I get to 300 million. So let's see, 2009, there's going to be 276. In 2010, there's going to be 200. 80 million, 2011, there's going to be 284 million, 2012, there's going to be 288 million, 2013, there's going to be 200 92 million, 000. I'm going to extend my page here a little bit, I'm going to keep doing this in 2014, there's going to be 296 million, 2015, there's going to be 300 million TVs. Wait a minute, isn't 300 million the number I needed to get to? So that means I solved my problem, right? That means my answer is in the year 2015, there's going to be 300 million televisions. Now I need to examine and explore my answer to see if it's correct. I'm going to explore it first. Does it seem to make sense that in the year 2015 there's 300 million televisions? Yeah, it kind of makes sense because I'm going to add 4 million every single year. So I go back and I check my math and I look like I added the 4 accurately every single time. 2015 and 2007, those two years, they're not really far apart. It's not like I got the year 3027 or something. So my answer seems to make sense. So the way that I'm, so the other thing I have to do is I'm going to explain how did I get my answer. I made a chart and I added four million televisions.
for each year until I got to 300 million TVs. That's all I need to do. I explained clearly what I did in words in case you couldn't figure out from my work up here. So it kind of is the, the, the explaining part is kind of the mental stuff that went on inside my head as I did the problem.